Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a few of the products that I sell on my website. This is my first YouTube video and my channel is going to consist of multiple things. I cannot wait to do a get to know me video and tell you a little bit about myself and I'm going to do quite a few videos about my small business. It's called Tiffany Selections and I make health and beauty items. I, I don't even want to try to think of them and name them, but um, bear with me through this first video. It's, it's my first one, so it's going to be a little uh, amateur, but hey, it can only get better from here. Um, if you like my content or you would like to subscribe, please do. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, today we're going to make honey and turmeric soap for your face. We're going to make Valentine's Day bath bombs. And we're going to make bath soak, but it's bath salts. So I'm going to show you how I make these and how I package everything and yeah uh stay tuned please like my video please subscribe uh the more interaction the more likes i get the more i'll come on um yeah thank you guys for clicking the video and let's get to it first thing you want to do is make sure that you get that hair put up so you want to put on a bonnet a shower cap a scarf something you don't want any hair falling on anything you're going to be gifting and or selling to anyone all right fix the camera all right next thing you're going to want to do is to put on some gloves sanitize your hands keep it nice and clean You're going to want to start off with a nice big bowl, a whisk, a measuring cup, Epsom salt. That's going to be the first thing we're going to add. You don't have to use any specific measurements, but I was going for 36 grams right here, I believe it was. And I got it like right on the dot. This is bath soap, so you can put like how much or how much or how little you would like to put. It just depends on what you're trying to do. Get creative. There is no set way to do your bath salts. Now we're going to add baking soda. Baking soda is really good for softening your skin and alkalizing your body. It's pretty good. Along with the Epsom salt, it gives you a really good detox. Okay, so you're going to add that to the Epsom salt. Next, we're going to add some citric acid. This is going to give you a little bit of fizz when you put your um, salts into the water. It just makes for a good little reaction. I'm going to stir that up just a little bit, get it all mixed in. Mixy, mixy. All right, next thing, I'm going to add a little bit of tapioca flour. Don't really have to add this, but um, it makes the water pretty silky, so add a little bit of that into the mix. All right, and once again, we're going to mix it a little bit. And here I'm going to make a little hole in the middle. The next ingredient we're going to add is dead sea salt. This is really good for detoxifying your body as well. Um, that along with the Epsom salt relaxes your muscles. It's really good for you. So let's go ahead and add some of that. Like I said, you can tater it or make it however you want to. You don't have to have it any specific way. So these were dead sea salt flakes. So I was separating them when I was crunching them right there. So I made a small hole because now I'm going to add SLSA and that's going to give it the foaming property. So this stuff is pretty serious and you would 
need to wear something to protect your lungs. As you can see, it's floating into the air right now. Um, I should have had on a dust mask or any kind of face cover to prevent you from breathing in the dust on the SLSA. So I'm going to add that to the mix and just fold it over, trying to stay away from it so that it doesn't, oh, I went to open up the door there to let some ventilation in. I also had the window up and the ceiling fan on. So you want to just mix all of that together. I mix it with my hands so that the dust doesn't fly everywhere. That's why I chose not to whisk it. So once you're done with that, you can add to it pink Himalayan salt, which is super good. You can make a bath soak with just that if you would like to because it has a lot of really good properties. So here I have some that I made earlier and I added color to it along with lavender essential oil. I used mica, which is that box that I just held up for color that I had on the tray right there, lavender essential oil. Here's a cute little container that I ordered off of Amazon and decorate it however you want. I got these little stickers from the Dollar Tree. Make it cute or not. I decided to go a little cute. So now you just want to layer it. You go ahead and put in the sea salt. Make the layers, you know, however you want. Get creative. Make sure that everything is mixed up really good. I added um, polysorbate 80, which helps, helps the color not um, stick to the tub and all the liquid stuff stay bound together. So Add a little bit more into my mixture that I just made here along with a little bit of uh, fractionated coconut oil. Mixy mixy. Add it to the dry. So to the dry I added polysorbate. I added some vanilla silk fragrance. A little bit of coconut oil and I think I added a drop or two of lavender to it so I'm just mixing it in there all right now we are going to fill our container so I'm just adding a layer at the bottom. On top of that I'm adding the pink salt. And then on top of that I'm going to add the purple mix, the lavender scented. And I scented that pretty heavily so that lavender will give you the most, um, that'll be what you smell the most which is really good for you. It's nice and relaxing so not only will you get a good detox, you'll get to enjoy inhaling that lavender, which will relax you. So you just go ahead and layer it in there all cute. And there you have it. That's, that's my little creation. Uh, of course, you want to clean it off because quite dusty you know I'll, I'll take care of that but yeah so that's the finished product um, you know you just layer it in there you can get all fancy with it you know make it cute put little decorations on it or not or you can make it plain like this no color however you want all right. Okay, bath next we are next. moving on to bath bombs, Valentine's Day bath bombs.
So we're going to start with citric acid, cornstarch, measuring cup, whisk a bowl, a little heart mold that I found at the Dollar Tree. It was like four for one dollar. Great, great buy. Um, baking soda, of course. Fractionated coconut oil, which I do not recommend. I recommend the hard coconut oil and distilled water. Some wax paper and a tray. Polysorbid 80. A little mixing bowl. Some colors. And I'm missing the most important part of the fragrance. I'm using vanilla. Well, I think it was warm vanilla or vanilla silk. And let's not forget our huge bag of Epsom salt. Epsom salt makes the greatest bath bumps, but they make the bath bumps so hard to mold. Oh my gosh, it's so much harder, but it makes a way better bath bomb when it has Epsom salt in it. It's just way better. Um, so basically, this recipe is going to cost for one whole cup of baking soda. Everything else is a half a cup. The cornstarch, the Epsom salt the citric acid as well uh, if you want to make a more firm bath bomb add some clay some clay will make it um harder and less likely to fall apart so we're going to add all that in And mix it up. Remember, you want to keep all this stuff away from your face if possible. It's nothing too harmful, but you know. So, on to the wet stuff. We're going to add two and a half tablespoons of coconut oil. Like I say, I recommend the hard coconut oil or even shea butter. Something that you'll have to like melt, meaning it would have to be in a hard state. That's going to make your bath bomb way better. The fractionated coconut oil is not the way to go. Trust me. Um, so for the wet stuff, like I said, two and a half tablespoons of a hard butter. Preferably coconut oil or shea butter. Shea butter is the best I've tried so far. Um, you want to do one fourth of a teaspoon of distilled water and how much ever fragrance you prefer. Then you want to add a few drops of witch hazel to harden it. And you just want to mix everything all together. Mix, 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 and mix and mix and mix. Okay, so you want to just mix this to death. Um, it's going to take a while for everything to get moist. And bath bombs are so tricky. If you get it too moist, you're in trouble. If it's not moist enough, you're in trouble. Bath bombs are so hard to make. You watch tutorial after tutorial and you think, oh, I got this. And then you go to make one and it's like, no. <laughs> they fall apart. Um, for one, they take at least 24 hours until you can even see if they're going to be good. And sometimes they're not. Um, I've discovered 48 hours is the best time. Um, some people choose to put them in the oven. You know, however you can get them dry, get them dry. You definitely don't want to be in a damp area. So I've added my red mica and not too much because I wanted the bath bombs to be pink not red so I've got all my ingredients together I've added the color and I'm checking the scent it's good enough I don't like it too over um too overwhelming so as most videos say you want the consistency to be like sand so I think I'm there so now it's time to use our little mold we got from the Dollar Tree and go ahead and uh, make this bath bomb. So I'm adding a little bit of gold to the tray 
try to make a little cute um, decoration on it so you can sprinkle a little bit of color into the mold before you actually put the uh, bath bomb in there and I'm just shaking it so that I can get it on both sides and I'm only going to use one half I'm not going to use the whole mold I'm just going to use one half to make my bath bombs so what you want to do is go ahead and pack it in there and when I say pack it in there you need to pack it in there they will fall apart and it's a lot of trial and error a lot of trial and error with bath bombs um, I've had some good days and some not so good days but packing it in that's that's a big big thing and once you get them in mold them loosen it pop it off and there you go oh got some made already <laughs> <laughs> of course I had to make them off camera and I did spritz on more um, witch hazel um, to make them mold better so these are some ones that I had out and I let them harden so now I'm going to pack them so what you want to do is just put them in this um, bags that I got off of Amazon and you drop them in there go ahead and use this little tool over here and seal it sometimes the end comes off sometimes it does not so then you have to cut it off so I'm gonna have to cut that one off because yeah it came off okay <laughs> sometimes you have to cut it off but it's pretty much sealed so when you seal it with the um, heat gun you want to put a hole in it so that the air can escape okay so that's why I cut the little edge off and it also helps because the edges are sharp. So you want to go ahead and blast it with the heat gun real good. And kind of mash the ends so that they don't, uh, they're not sharp. Just like mashing as you dry it. And yeah, I didn't package this one too great. Um, I had a lot of excess at the top, but it's okay. Um, these are going to go to my mom. So it's okay. <laughs> she understands. Um, yeah, so that's how I package it. And there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and grab another one. It's great if you have a dehumidifier when you um, dry these bath bombs. It helps out tremendously, tremendously. Now, sometimes when I make bath bombs and they've been sitting and it's been two days, and I go to pick them up and they fall apart so I've learned the hard butter is way better to use shea butter is way better to use when making bath bombs also adding a little bit of clay it helps out tremendously tremendously they're much easier to work with and using less Epsom salt not so much so in this recipe I used a half of a cup you want to take that down some and it'll work out better those are just some things I've discovered as of late but I'm gonna go ahead and package one more and get those edges laid down We are good to go. Nice little heart. That's fun. There we have it. Okay, next up is the honey and turmeric face soap. So you want to start off with goat's milk, melt and pour. You want to go ahead and chop that up because it's easier when you go ahead and melt it if you chop it up first. Then you want to use organic honey and organic turmeric. Of course, all these can be found at your local grocery store, Melt and Pour online or Michaels. I get mine from Amazon or Make Your Own Buzz. So you want to go ahead and get that melted. Once it's melted, you want to make sure 
that it's not too hot before you go ahead and start adding um, ingredients into it. So you want to get a good temperature. Um, every soap that I do is different. So there's no one set uh, temperature for me. <laughs> I just kind of see how it's getting a skin and that's how I kind of figure out how to deal with melting pour. So I think it's good enough for me to go ahead and start adding uh, the ingredients. So I add the organic honey first and I'm adding two teaspoons of organic honey. I know it seems like I'm adding three but I only added a small bit more and it's about two teaspoons. Then you want to go ahead and add the turmeric. So you can add as much as you would like. But keep in mind that, of course, um, it's turmeric. So <laughs> if you are using this during the day, you want to ensure that you, um, you want to use something afterward because it can stain um, your face depending upon how much you add in your recipe okay so I'll go ahead and add two teaspoons and of course it's not coming out for me um, very well and I didn't want to stick the little spoon in there because it was already dirty but you want to go ahead and mix it mix it mix it um, you can also mix this outside of the bowl before you go ahead and add. You can mix the honey and the turmeric and that'll probably be a whole lot easier. But I'm going to go ahead and check the temperature again. And you don't have to. If you've been dealing with melting pour for a while, you kind of know. You just know. And everything goes pretty quick um, with melting pour. So I'm having a little trouble with my little thermometer but I guess I was trying to be cool and you know use my little thermometer because I've been testing it on everybody to include my dog see what our temperatures are but anyway you want to go ahead and mix it and once you have it to how you would like it to look you want to go ahead and scrape down the sides Make sure everything is incorporated really well before you go ahead and pour it into the mold. Like I said, this goes pretty quick with melting pour. It's easy, but it's you have to uh, know what you're doing. So you want to use a high-grade alcohol, like a 91%. You can find it at Walgreens, or you can just go ahead and buy it online. I bought mine from Amazon. Put it in a little spray bottle and um, use that for all your melting pour. It's going to help with the bubbles and it's going to help stuff bond together, etc. It's just really good if you're dealing with melting pour soap. You must have that 91% alcohol. It's like a must have. So I'm mixing it, just making sure that everything is really good and incorporated before I go ahead and pour each um, mold, I want to make sure it's, you know, evenly, it's good to go. So I'm just stirring it more and more to make sure it's um, to the consistency I want it before I go ahead and pour it in there. Because, you know, it goes quick, like I said. So you go ahead and uh, use my favorite stuff. You spray it, spray it, spray it, and pour it in there. So with the goat's milk soap, I used one pound of goat's milk soap. For reference, I brought this um, heart mold off of Amazon, which I buy a whole lot of my 
molds off of silicone molds off of Amazon. I like to fill my soaps like way up to the top because it just makes for a bigger bar and pretty awesome. All the way up to the top. And we have five. So this recipe here will make you five. Uh, it all depends on what mold you have. So, you know. Done. <laughs> All right, so you want to let that sit. And after you have let that sit uh, for about like two hours, you are ready to go ahead and unmold it. So it's too easy, just pop them out. You want to go ahead and have you some uh, wax paper. Pop them out, they're so cute. They come out so perfect. Um, I love silicone molds when it comes to soap making. And melting for soap making is just so easy. Uh, I love it. So you want to go ahead and pull those out. And go ahead and package them. We're going to package them the same exact way that we packaged the um, bath bombs. Look at them. Aren't they so cute? You can see the turmeric is evenly dispersed. And they're just so cute. I have big hands. I'm tall. <laughs> but they're a little bit bigger. If you're judging from my hand, then, you know, just know that I am pretty tall. Um, yeah, so you want to go ahead. I have these 5 by 7 bags that I also got from Amazon. And I'll be using these bags to package the soap as well as the bath bombs. I use the same size, um, the very same bag. And these can be a little tricky sometimes because the soap wants to like stick to the bag and yeah <laughs> yeah that didn't work out too good so I'm gonna take that out oh no I decided to keep it in and when you do um, package it when it's like this just know you're going to have a big um, line on the front which I'm about to show you right here you want to clip those in it just makes it um, easier go ahead and same deal heat blast it away Get the heat gun this is taking so long I need to learn how to properly edit a video like I said it can only get better from here if you're still here wow <laughs> thanks I appreciate it um, yeah so there we have it it is done awesome nice and neat but as you can see it has that white line because I did not um, put it in there properly. So now we're going to attempt to actually put the soap in the bag as it should go in the bag. Okay. So we're going to we're going to try to do it right this time. Let's see if we can get it. Isn't it cute? Go ahead and just kind of slide, slide my whole hand in there. And get it in there real good. All the way to the bottom. That's how it should be. Okay? Yeah. Then go ahead and 
seal it with this wonderful machine that I brought off of Amazon. Okay. And then put those edges and we're going to seal it with the heat gun and it's going to be way better than the last one. the last one and this one is going to be so much better yeah. Extra side and you have to do all this stuff pretty quick okay that one is just way better way better good job okay And there we have it. There we have it. This soap works really good for um, dark spots, turmeric, honey, goat's milk. Google it. Get into it. It's great for your skin. All right, guys. There we have it. A couple products for Valentine's Day. Thank you for watching my first video. It's only going to get better. Please subscribe and God bless.